Hello my friends and welcome back to our continue playing Let's Play Dead Rising for the PlayStation. My name is The Flightless Bird, this is a story based gaming channel, and today we restart at level 8. And a bunch of people have given me some advice on the best way to do this, which is what I asked for in the previous video. And what we're going to do is I am going to effectively cut failure runbacks. And what does that mean? That means that if I try to fight a boss and I die, I'm going to cut me going back to the boss because I've already done it. But everything else I'm going to try to keep in because part of this game is the art of survival and trans navigating yourself through the mall from location to location and uh, seeing what it has to offer. However, when I start the game, I think I'm going to wait until I get done with reuniting the couple uh, before before the first boss fight with Carlito. And I think I'll pick up then with the Carlito boss fight. Because technically we've already seen everything else beside that, you know? Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'll see you at Carlito. And, uh, well, well, we'll see how long it takes. I hope you're all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. I was given a note by uh, Techno Trouble. Thank you, Techno Trouble. Um, Jeremy. DOD. Like, everyone, thank you all for uh, all your input and advice on this game so far. Without spoiling anything. But anyway, I was told that Brian here has a very good weapon. It looks like he has a shotgun of some type. So when this mall gets overrun, I need to run to the left here to see if I can try to get his weapon. Yeah. Okay, so the the zombies have booked through. Uh, I picked up a couple baseball bats and some stacks on the end there. Come on, I was swinging a baseball bat. I have no idea how I'm gonna get the bar in here. Whatever the heck he was. The sword is like right here. Uh Put his warriors right here. I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. I mean, it's kind of crazy in here. There's a lot of stuff going down. Maybe he's not dead yet. I, 
maybe I have to wait for him to die. Pointless, you're gonna die if you stick around here any longer. Yeah, I don't I don't see the dude anywhere. Yeah, I, I do not see him anywhere. Yeesh. Yep, 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 yep. I, I don't see anything. Uh, I, I know that's an awesome weapon and it looked like a right idea. But. Wait, is that him? Slice me. Oh, that's him. There it is. I got the shotgun. Sweet. Now let's get the heck out of here. Okay, apparently I got really lucky here. I just wanted to show this off real fast. Uh, you remember how long it took me to do this before? Well, I got a picture here, instantly get that quest, and then picture here, and I got that done. All right, here we are at Carlito. And I just dropped my knife because it looks like he gave me a gun. And you know what? I did save before doing any of this. I just realized that. But I think I know how to defeat this guy. I don't know his health bar. I don't see it anywhere, but I think I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, it looks like, oh yeah, yeah, we're getting him pretty good here. Now, I'm not a fan of that dive move. Seems a little bit finicky. By the way, I did level twice. Uh, the first level was HP, and the second level was that roll thing. Let me see. So that's Brad. He's up there, I see him. See, I'm not a fan of this roll thingy. I, I know I did not press the other uh, button twice. Oh, we got some good shots on him there. Like, really good shots. I know I'm not pressing that wall button. Yeah, this fight's going a lot easier than it was before. Sounded like a grenade. Was. Aw, oh, dang it, he moved right when I went to fire. Ah! I think we just did like one more good shot on him. Yep, that's all it took. Okay, a little bit easier that time. Case one, two. All right, uh, I need, I don't need food, I need weapons is what I need. I need to go back to where my knife was if it's still there.
mean, I don't really care about that weapon. I have no idea what my neck is. I don't know where we started. Dang it. Keep a lookout for zombies. Zombies can have stuff on them. That's how I found the knife to begin with. So I just need to karate kick a... The right zombie. Yeah, I just need to karate kick the right zombie. I think I just hit Brad. Sorry, Brad. Oh, the chainsaw store. Oh, this could be really useful. Like, ten times more useful than... Why is he keep doing that? Like I said, I know I'm not pressing that button. Can you store a chainsaw? Cannot store a chainsaw. At least they can cleave my way through these guys with it. Come on, Brad. Come on, Brad. Hate that. Really, really hate that. Is there a way to, like, disable moves? Because I hate to say it, but that move's gonna get me killed. So it's push twice, but I'm not pushing twice. I'm literally holding the button down and I'm diving. And it's absolutely infuriating. I like how I just broke the class. <laughs> All right. Someone just had to call me right now. Well, I'll try to see about that after I, uh, after I open this gate. I, I don't know if I still need to follow him, but, wow, the chainsaw does not have a lot of hit points. But help me get to where I need to get to, so that's good. Sir. Case one three. Right now in the entrance plaza. Looks like you got the shutter open if you want to change some fresh roads. Yeah, don't really need to. I, I just need to figure out where I'm going next. Uh, the. Case one four, a temporary agreement for security room. Back in the security room. Okay, so we need to go back into the security room, which is I think it's up here. Speediest photo development. Yeah, I think it's up here. I'm not too sure. I always forget where it is. I'm telling you, that's really going to tick me off. Like, it's really going to tick me off. Because it explicitly says you got to press it in the direction twice. Well, when I press it in the direction twice, I, I'm, I'm just holding it forward and yet I'll, I'll go diving. How the heck do I get to where I need to go? I think I need to go out to Paradise Plaza, which is out this way. Yeah. Okay, so go back down. Oh, 
Eventually, I hope to learn how to navigate the mall. That's Alfresco Plaza. Can I go this way, though? Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Can't go this way? Ah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta go all the way around? Yeah, I think I gotta go all the way around. Well, I do have some res of the chainsaw left. Not a lot, but it's a little. A lot of zombies. That's nonsense. That guy was like a heat-seeking missile on me. I was trying to run away from him to use my to wrap my chainsaw and he just followed me. That was insane. Right. Okay, uh, let's see. I need to go to this shop. And uh one thing that one thing that was told was uh, this guy here, you kind of had to hit him a few times before he stops hitting you. So don't just immediately go chainsaw. Stop biting me there! No good touch. Wow, that's good milk. This is not a good weapon. You stupid woman! <sighs> okay, this way. It's gonna get me killed. What was that? See, he wants to hit on me. We're done playing. Now, can't you see I'm on your side? Just leave me alone, you son of a gun. I'm trying to save your life. I don't feel like playing. I'm not here for a fight. Just listen. Well, you're the one who swung at me, okay? You want to do whatever you want? Talk to me, kill me, whatever. Well, how about you hurry up before zombies get here? Listen to me. I came to help you guys. I'll t I can take you somewhere safe. Darn it. Why the heck didn't you just say that first? Get me the heck out of here already. Cool. They all joined. Let's eat those cookies. And yes, let's pick this up. What? No, don't drink that milk. Shoot. Yeah. Oh, let's go. I mashed buttons and I hit the wrong button because I hit the wrong button. I lost almost all my hit points That was nonsense. Where the heck are these guys? Where are you? Dude get over here 
here? They're stuck on all this garbage is what's going on. Hurry up and stop being idiots! Come on! Aaron, your butt's about to get left behind if you don't like start moving. Aaron? When you go out, when you go outside, crank in the foot port now. I want to try to make some different blenders. Yeah, I know blenders are good. But right now, I'm trying to get these two idiots out of here. Where the heck is Aaron? Aaron, like, what are you doing? Did you stop this? Will you stop calling me? I'm busy. You stupid, stupid idiot! Like, you know how much room there is to run around that guy? Why are you moonwalking? Come on. Aaron! Come on. Aaron, I'm about to leave you behind! And now you run. Yeah, you just gotta insult them. That's how it works. You just gotta threaten them. Well, the good news is those crazy guys aren't here yet. I guess they show up at night. Dude, just follow me. That's all I ask. Just follow me, and you'll be fine. There you go. Come on. Come on. I'm taking the long way around. Less zombies to worry about. Don't you dare start with me. Getting them in there is going to be really tough. Wow, just auto aim is horrible. Absolutely horrible. It's killed. Please be close enough. Please be close enough. Please be close enough. Yes, you're close enough. Good. Now, now where'd I go? Uh, that way? Yeah, exactly. Like I said, I forget exactly how to... I think those are restrooms in the save point. I need to get down there. I don't even think I realized there were restrooms over there. Oh my god, you guys are really going to take me off. Guys, just run around the zombies. Like, seriously, just run around them. It's not hard. 
I'm a photographer for crying out loud, and I can do this. Y'all are gonna get me killed. Y'all are gonna get me killed. You all are going to get me killed. Okay, here it is. Aaron, what are you doing? Aaron, move it. Okay, I think they're both in range. I hope they're both in range. Damn. Oh yeah, this is a B. Okay, yeah, I think they're both in range. Um, yeah. Oh, hello, Mr. Queen. I hate that so much. So much. All right, come on, you idiots. Let's go. Yeah, it's been a hell of a ride, but I feel safe now. What are we doing here? Yeah. Alright, I got stock up. And now I can work on this quest here. Case 1 4 complete. This case will occur at 6 a.m. And maybe I'll take some coffee cream with me. Good. I understand. What? Okay, let's save. And now we are officially back. Well, sort of back. We're almost officially back. We have three second pass to go. So yeah, that's that's not great. Um I, I do have a B, I do have one heal. I do not have any type of physical weapon of any type, which is a problem. So what's the best move? Well, best move maybe to take out the uh the best move maybe to try to go to get a chainsaw because if you have a chainsaw you can take out the uh the outside bike uh road rage guys incredibly easily is this night time Because I know where to get chainsaws. You can get them at that shop. Yeah, it's nighttime. See, so that we entered Silent Hill. It could be both. You need to go out this way. Oh, you got a knife. I'll take that. Kind of what I wanted is some type of physical weapon. Okay, uh, let's see. Plan. Plan. Okay, what's the plan, Flutless Bird? Uh, I could go up here and exit out to the food court. I would skip the, uh, the Alfresca Plaza. There is something over here. Although, I think that's just the, um, the picture quest. And we can't get that right now. I don't even know if I've ever exited. 
Come this way or not. I think it may have had a knife, but I'm not going back for it. The security guards usually have a gun. Do I need a gun? Not really. I mean, it could be good to fight the clown if I had a ranged weapon. So I'm gonna pop the balloon. I'm telling you, that's gonna get me killed. I mean, you can always usually get guns here. I think I've been this way before. Now, the question is, do I want to try to use the shotgun on these guys, or should I go for the chainsaws? Ooh. Yeah. I think it was the Alfresca Plaza that had the chainsaws, if I'm not mistaken. So if I can get a chainsaw from here, I can kill these guys really, really easily. I could also try using a shotgun on them. That might kill them too. Especially if they get stuck. Sweet! Whoa! Oh my gosh! I didn't think it would take a... I'm gonna take you for a ride! I don't think I can take her for a ride though. How did I get the... Sweet! All right, where's Sophie at? Did I accidentally kill her? Sophie. Sophie. Sophie, over here. Sophie! Hello? Anyone so there? Stop running, would you? Anyone there? Anyone there? Anyone there? Sophie! Hello? 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 Some people deserve to Anyone die. There? Anyone there? Anyone there? <laughs> Okay, um, let's see. <clears throat> I need to drop her off before I do anything. Level up, throw up. Yeah, I need to drop her off or... Yeah, I, the, the best thing I can do is drop off now. And then I can take this super gun to the, um... I'm going the wrong way. This way? Okay, so the plan is I drop her off. This is sort of like a rounding game in some ways. I have to do A to get to B to get to C. Well, I imagine speedrunners may love this game. But anyway, so the plan is I drop her off. Then I come back this way with the super gun. I ignore the clown. I go to the gun shop. I get to the gun shop and I use the gun to kill the gun owner. Then um, I double back around. I get the katanas that I need. I also have a shotgun from the gun shop. So I'll have a shotgun from the gun shop and I'll have katanas from the uh, knife shop. Seriously, can you not move faster than this? I hate that move so dang much. I can't believe they actually gave you a move that could get you killed. Oh, they're all going after me. They're totally annoying Sophie. That's okay for me. Hopefully she's close enough. She was. Good. Sophie doesn't look like an idiot. She was really, really afraid and she was running for a long time, but she doesn't look like an idiot. She's actually getting her way through these zombies at a sufficient pace. Now, 
Now, if I remember... <clears throat> okay, maybe I was wrong about that. I mean, there's a lot of zombies, though. Wow, yeah, yeah, she's doing great. She just busted her way through all of them. Now, if I remember correctly, you gotta go back this way. Yes, and avoid this zombie that's about to eat your flightless. And jump right into that one. It's the Joker over here. And we go through this door. Sophie. 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 So, 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 Sophie. 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 <laughs> I'm going I'm leaving. <laughs> okay. What the heck? Oh, I pressed. Didn't realize I could aim. Oh, she's tough. I, I had to take a couple hot shots there. Where the heck is the exit here? Come on, get off me! No! No, 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 no! I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal, I need to heal. I, I, I don't know when last time I saved was. That's why I was freaking out there. I thought I literally just died, and I think I should have, so maybe the game took uh, pity on me. Uh, I'll take it. Oh my god, what the heck is this? This is how I waste all my good ammunition is what it is. What the heck is this? Where did all these guys come from? And I got hand to Sophie. She's one tough cookie. Like, can she always follow me around? Because if I give her a weapon, I'm pretty sure she'll kick some major butt. <laughs> Where did all of them come from? They just like appeared. Follow me. All right, <clears throat> got her. Oh my. Oh, the coffee cream it seems to be really good HP. Okay, let's go save. And the question is, do I want to hit the the juice area? I mean, I do have some things that I could mix. And one of the hardest things about this next part of my mission is usually getting back, getting back alive. Because remember last time I killed a guy, but then I had one hit point left, and that was it. Hmm. Dromino! I really want that knife. Want to get hit though? Okay, I don't want to waste the shotgun shot, but oh well. We're gonna get some more shotguns in a uh, in a few. The problem with the big gun is I can't do my jump kick when I have it. So navigating is actually incredibly dangerous. Which is why sometimes you'll see me do this. Because it's the only way I can clear a path.
Oh, isn't there a katana here? I had totally forgot about the katana that's here. So that's the um the clown. Yeah, that's the clown. Thank you for choosing to visit us here at the Willamette Park U Mall. And we hope to see you again. Wonder what drink this is. Okay, I have three heals. I probably wanna drop the base gun. Oh yeah, I definitely want to to pick this up. But what do I want to drop to pick up the katana? Probably this. Okay, so I need to go out this way? No. Um, yes, I need to go out this way. Gotta be kidding me, game! I hate this dive! All I did was just go out of the menu and my character went supermaning off the ledge. And because of that, I dropped my gun up here. I said, is there a way to turn off skills that you have? Because this skill will never help me in the game. It will only handicap me. You can just see it now. Where the heck is my gun? It's over here. That's fine. That is fine. Okay. Are we here? I really would like this episode to have basically all the things that I had before. So, in a way, reset uh, where I was. So the next time I play, I can go fresh from where I was. Uh, although there are some things like I haven't done the uh, um, the, uh, the 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 Japanese guys, you know, the one that I had to use the book for to understand them. I could get them as well, but I'm not going to do that today. But today the goal is going to be try to get the gun shop, um, and then from the gun shop we go after the clown. So Cletus and then Adam. Now, the interesting thing is, can you go up this way? I mean, I know it says you can go there. I know it says you can he go here. But it does look like there's something here. And if I can go up this way, that would actually be better. But I don't know if you can. But just because I haven't tried doesn't mean you can't. Because if I can go up that way and get to Cletus uh, through this entrance, it'll save me a lot of time. And a lot of zombies. I just hope I can. Don't think I've ever been this far up here. I do see a stairwell leading up to some doors up there. What's that noise? Oh, that's some walking through the flowers, I think. Yeah, because if I can go through this door, then I take a left and I go up here. And I think it would be a lot safer. Oh, that they just fall down because they, they're, they're shambling downstairs. That cracks me up. Perfect. Okay. Okay. What? I'm so glad I didn't go in the water. Okay. Uh, from here, 
I need to go in the complete opposite direction of which I'm facing. Oh my god, there's so many zombies. And then I come this way. Just take simple pop shots, seem to work really well. Come on. Just trying to fire at them. Okay, okay, this should be the gunshot right here. Okay, now I just need to not die to this guy. Because you could do that very easily. He has a shotgun. I could take a picture of him, but it's kind of dangerous. And by kind of dangerous, I mean it's incredibly stupidly dangerous. Whoa. I'm like super fast now. Dude, now is not the time to call. Just saying. It's like the worst time to call. Still not a good time to call. Yeah. Oh, I got speed up. Fantastic. Okay, um. Get this nonsense out of here. Okay, uh. We got a shotgun, sniper rifle. I can't carry. What is it? Yeah, the bookstore people. Yeah, they're stupid. They look Japanese, probably Taurus. Yeah, and they're, they they get themselves killed. Drop one of the shotguns. I think the quick set wore off. I think I'm just naturally fast now. Ooh. No, I think the quick set is still on. There's no way I'm this fast. Although the speed up probably will help. Okay, where are we going? Uh, kind of want to go backwards to get to the to get to the cutlery, and we also want to get to the save point. So wherever I'm going, do a quick turn. Was that a quick turn? Yeah, that was a quick turn. Okay. You know, this gun will make really good work of the clown. I've already killed the clown without this gun, so I know I can kill the clown either way. Save point should be just up ahead. Yes, I did mean to do that. Sorry, there was just too many things around me. Okay, we are doing fantastic. We still have our gun. Uh, we have a ton of weapons. We have a katana. We don't need to stop by... I think this is just my normal movement now. If so, this game just got a lot better because instead of shambling like a zombie like it was before, I can actually sort of move around it a bit better. Am I even going the right way? Yes, I am. Cool. Okay, I don't need to stop by the cutlery shop because I already have a katana. And I feel good about the katana. And not only that, but I still have quite a few shots of this gun. This gun is so overpowered. I love it. <laughs> I love it because I actually had to work to get it. And yeah, even though I had that shotgun, I was able to kill those guys um, before. 
you know, by using Adam's weapon. I mean, that's like the name of the game, I guess, is to, is to find weapons that can help you out. Okay, what? Yes, I know I'm in Wonderland Plaza, and you're gonna get me killed because you talk really slow. I can't do anything around when you're talking to me. You do know that, right? You put me in so much danger all the time. I have a very, very nice amount of bullets left. Sorry, I had to mess that up. I didn't kill anyone with it either. This clown is gonna get messed up. Absolutely messed up. That is if it doesn't make me drop my weapon. Because it could. Alright, clown. Let's do it. Please don't jump off the side. Yeah, he can like infinitely block bullets. Tell him that's gonna get me killed. Alright, good. He didn't move. He should be open now. Or not. Because of that roll, I dropped my gun. And because of that, I missed my opportunity to hit him. Break my katana as chainsaw either. Woo! Oh, and we got that extra chainsaw. Um, and I have space for it. Cool thing about those chainsaws, you can actually put them away. All right, so now I just need to get to a save point. And I think there was one back. Now there's one right here, which is really, really close by. Katana is still one of my favorite weapons. I know a chainsaw may be more powerful, but I love the way the katana works. Just slice people up, it's so much fun. Plus, don't forget that the katana was my favorite weapon in Silent Hill 3. Uh, save points on the other side. Where exactly? Stop rolling. Okay. Good. All right. Wonderful progress today. We're able to get back to where we were, except for the uh, the two guys who died. So maybe I can actually save them next time. Uh, we got some more EXP. Our speed is level two now, which really helps. Can't wait to see what speed level three looks like. Probably amazing. We defeated all three psychopaths. Well, all four, you know, Carlito as well. Well, we didn't really defeat him, he kind of ran away. I don't even really know if he counts as a psychopath. I think he does. Maybe. I mean, he was trying to kill me. So, I mean, yeah. I, this is really good progress. And in the next episode, we're going to pick up kind of where we left off. I mean, not kind of where we left off. We're going to pick up right here, you know. <laughs> and we're going to head to the Japanese guys. Try to save them. And at the same time, try to complete any other quest 
while we wait for the next mission. My name is the Bear. This is your Sorby Skim channel. This is our continued blind let's play Dead Rising for the PlayStation. Much love to you all. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant and you are loved and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.